This is Fortune Cookie 45LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone. And before I get into the Marlin Model 60, I'd like to dedicate this video to some guy in Sandy. Now a lot of times I say to him, hail to the great Pacific Northwest. Well you know, when I say that, I mean it. It really is great. Now you know I've done a video before on the Marlin Model 795. And what I did was I put an RWS lockdown scope mount on it. And the reason why was because when I shot this gun a lot, the mounts would start to, to shift. And you couldn't tighten those cheap mounts down enough to stop that. Well the RWS lockdown mount solved that problem. The 60 came first and the Marlin Model 795 followed it with the addition of the box magazine instead of the tubular magazine. And these are very popular 22 rifles. They are actually the anti Ruger 1022s. Now when you buy either of these rifles you don't wind up spending a lot of money for aftermarket parts because these rifles are not as modular as the Ruger 1022 so we don't mod them out. And that goes especially for the Marlin Model 60 because it has a tubular magazine. If you buy the 795 Marlin you might wind up buying extra magazines so include the cost of 6 to 12 of these when you buy the 795. Now some of you may have already seen my video on the Marlin Model 795 and the problem I was having was when I fired to say 350 rounds to 400 rounds in a range session of 22 long rifle the cheap rimfire scope mounts would start to drift and you couldn't tighten them down enough to stop that well the RWS lockdown mount solved that problem because of the nature of the secure mounting of this mount it will not shift and it hasn't shifted but that's not the topic of this video. The topic is the Marlin Model 60. Now the last time you saw the Marlin Model 60 it was wearing the Weaver V22 scope. This scope was very popular many years ago. It's got a 3 quarter inch tube and it's got a pretty good uh, performance for a light scope. But I wanted to go ahead and put an RWS lockdown mount on the Marlin Model 60 also because I like it so much on my Marlin 795. So here it is. And all it took was a screwdriver to take the V22 scope off and then RWS includes all the wrenches you need to mount this scope on a tip-off 22 of your choice. So I went ahead and used the large Allen wrench to put the four set screws through and tighten it on to the 22 rail and then the medium sized one was used to mount the scope the little one was used to do the vertical set screw before the scope went on and now this mount will not move show you from the other side now it's nice that RWS has these big allen bolts going through and they can be put on this side of the receiver so that doesn't get in the way of you working the operating handle on the semi-auto action of the Marlin Model 60. Completely smooth on the other side. Now this Simmons scope is not an expensive scope. It's 3 to 9 power. Pretty clear image for a scope in its price range but bear in mind that this was made to be a scope used on a high power rifle. So it should perform very well on the 22. In fact, I've used this on 22s before to good effect. Now, if we ever want to take these, this mount off, all we do is loosen these four. The mount comes off. We can use our iron sights. And because the mounting is so sure, if I put it back on, it should be turned to zero or very, very close to it. So the question is, the Marlin Model 60 has the micro groove barrel of course and it's a pretty heavy barrel for a 22. Now thinking about the Marlin micro groove 
barrels is that there's less deformation of the bullet as it goes down the barrel because the rifling is so shallow and there's more there's more rifling in there in terms of grooves so that it makes up for the fact that the rifling is not as deeply cut and the accuracy of the micro groove barrels has been very good in the past now when the discussion was that we don't buy extra parts for the Marlin Model 60s. That's not completely true. We always buy something for our rifles, whether it's a scope mount or scope, or whether it's a extension of the buttstock, this kind of thing, to make the rifle fit us better. But we don't need to do a lot with a Marlin Model 60. However, here's something very useful, and that is the speedy loaders. Now what these do is that they, they enable us to load our tubular magazines in a flash and there's eight reloads in each speedy loader. Now I bought the 15 rounder one and you take one out you got 14 which is what the Marlin Model 60 currently holds. So two of those gives you 16 reloads and the cost of that is if you were going to have a 795 you would need 16 magazines in fact more than 16 you would need to have something like 22 magazines to make up for what you have here in capacity. And these would cost what probably three or four magazines would cost. Each 795 magazines like 10, 12 dollars. Well these are about 20 dollars each from Speedy Loader. This orange thing is a belt scabbard for the Speedy Loader and I have two of them. So shooters out there, we have our Marlin Model 60 now fully set up for range and field. And that's the video for today. Good shooting to you. Fortune Cookie 45 LC. See you next video. Bye for now.